Ghost of Tsushima is PlayStation's fourth biggest Steam launch. And to say it's a failure is incorrect, but yeah, yeah, by yeah. all accounts, this should have been bigger. Honor died on the beach. It's not like you can get like a yellow flash thumbnail being like, dude, they completely failed. It's like, no. Yeah. It, again, it's not all black and white. There's gray areas. Yeah, it, it should have been more successful. If it wasn't for the Helldiver shit, it yeah. would be more successful. Yeah. Um, the PSN stuff, right? That That's held it back. Just let alone in availability in other countries. And then Actually, on top of that, you have to factor the people who just are going to not buy it in protest effectively. Right. Mm -hmm. Which that's, I think that's all of us. I would, I would love to play it on my Steam Deck, but nope. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta draw a line at certain things, man, and especially at full price. You know, to me, this is um, yeah. send me an email when it's on special. That's and and that's the other thing too with Ubisoft to take it back to Shadows. It's not gonna launch on Steam. You know, yeah. that that's also gonna shoot itself. I, in the yep. Mm -hmm. Look, another thing with this is it is still on very positive. It never it never dipped below very positive because the game itself is fucking phenomenal. It and it just, but you also, here. but but again, you also have to look. I, I I'll bring this up again. The only people who can leave reviews are people who own the game, and so a lot of the people opposed to this would have. This was known before the game came out during the pre-order part, like section of of the game's life, right? Before the game comes out, you can buy it, pre-order that stuff. So this got announced, and a lot of people would have who were dead set against it would have gotten their refunds then because it's much easier to refund a pre-order than a game that's already come out but with that as well it has passed the it has passed the 57 peak okay right now the launch issues i'm not too sure what these launch issues were or if it was just to do with the psn bullshit uh, however, the launch of Ghost of Seamus Director's Cut on PC hasn't been a walk in the park, as many players are reporting some teething issues. I did not hear about this. Hmm. A Ghost of Seamus performing well enough on PC, pulling in a slew of positive reviews, but some users are experiencing some irritating issues uh, that are making them regret the purchase. On Steam, users have reported crashes and connection issues, and while the former issue uh, is thought to be tied to a certain hardware configuration, cough, cough, PSN, hmm. um... The connection issues are in part linked with the PSN controversy. Yep. Aside from Sucker Punch addressing the successful launch of Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut, uh, nothing has officially been said by the firm, leading some users to wonder if they'll acknowledge the issues. No shit. Yeah. So I didn't wear that it had some fucking problems with that. However, it is past the 57 mark. It's at, look at that, it peaked at 77,024 mm, yeah. hours ago. Hey, Cream, this is interesting. Because you said that it would probably hit its peak around, well, this time, actually, you know, like the weekend of the game's launch and shit, yeah. man. And yeah, there we have the fucking peak that. Of is, that. Well, they, that they is, released, that should it, have hit they released man. it. Yeah, they released it within the, the middle of the week. People are at work, right? They don't have time to sit, especially with this game, because most people are playing the story mode. They want to sit down. They want to be able to play it and just yeah. kind of get running with it. The last yeah. thing you want to do is sit there and then like play a little bit and be like, oh fuck, now I gotta go. It's like, well, yep. if it's a Saturday night and you're home, you're just able to run through a couple hours of it, get ahead. Yeah. 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 But, but I, I think this uh fourth, I don't think it ever would have been first, but this should have cracked top three. Oh, easily, dude. Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> like that was everyone's the best pick PlayStation over... 4 game. Yeah. And everybody... PlayStation 5 game. <laughs> And yeah. I know 77,000 people is a lot. Not for Ghost, though. Not for Ghost. That is pretty damn low for it Ghost. It should have it should have been more. We will be remembered forever. No, you will be forgotten. Yeah. 